Good morning YouTube, welcome back to a brand new video. Before we get into it, I just want to say I am sorry. I have been very sick. I have the flu. So the last two days I've literally spent in bed. But let's just say my team is amazing. Thank you family because you have been amazing. They have kept going with everything that has been having to happen here at the rec center. So in the last video, I told you about the interview with the Cairns Post. You can see a link to the article down in the comment section below. But today I actually had an interview with Cool FM, 98.3, cool, cool, cool FM. And by the time this video drops, it will actually be playing on the radio probably like four times over the next two hours. So from 7 a.m. all the way through till 10 a.m., you will hear my voice on the radio talking about Ram Recreational Center. But guys, this video is very short. I have been feeling very ill. Like I said, I've got the flu and I spent literally all day yesterday in bed. But I have been doing stuff at home. Although I haven't been here at the center, I have been doing stuff at home. So because I haven't really been feeling well, I didn't want to go through the effort of having to get out my camera and things like that. I was just struggling to build the equipment and build the arcade themselves. So I don't have much content of me building the arcades nor painting it or anything like that. But we have custom built these two multiverse arcades. The other two multiverse arcades are going to go up on TV screen with more of a sit back um, like PlayStation kind of style. But these ones are very old school arcades. We are in the process of painting them and getting them all nice and pretty for you guys. They have 20,000 games preloaded on it. So that's something that's really, really cool. Um, I have also in the last week finished off my two custom pool tables that I built. One is the same shape as our building and our logo, which is just really cool. And the other is a round pool table, something I've personally never played, but I've always seen it in the window of a pub in Innisfail. And yeah, it's just always looked cool, always wanted to play. So I built my own and you guys can actually come down and play it as well. So I have to go and get ready for the interview now, which you guys are probably hearing on the radio right now. Before I go to my interview, there's one last thing that I do want to just talk to you guys about, and that is the driveway slash opening day. Now, I was really, really hoping to have this center open to use by school holidays, which is like three weeks away. Now, due to the rain, oh, the rain, the driveway is not getting done. As you can probably not see, but over there, there's just mud and they need to build a big drain all the way along there before they can finish our car park. <sighs> Guys, I want to know, is the car park not being done a reason to not open by school holidays? We still don't have power in the facility, but that should be getting done in a couple days, if not a week. So that's not my issue. My issue is the driveway. Will you guys still come if you have to park out on the road or only a certain amount of cars will fit here or your car will get dirty because there's a bit of rain and a little bit of mud? Is that a big issue? Am I over exaggerating, overthinking this? Because I want this place to be perfect by opening day, but if it is, if it does have to be 100% perfect by opening day, it means we probably won't be open until the end of the year school holidays. And that just breaks my heart. I had big hopes. I have all the, the, the fire brigade, the ambulance, the, 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 the police, face painters. Uh, I have pretty much everything organized for this school holidays. So if I have to postpone it all to next school holidays, I will be a little bit upset. But in saying that, do I do it right and wait? Or do we rush it open and you guys may or may not get a little bit of a wet car or a dirty car? Um, I don't know. Please let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Because this is something that's really, really been playing on my mind the last few days. Especially because I've been sick in bed. I haven't been able to do anything. I've just been thinking about this place and these two big problems that I have. So let me know, is the driveway a big issue or will you happily get your car a little bit dirty? Uh, like mine is just driving up here to have some fun. Let me know Down in the comment section below, but I'm late for my interview. So I'll see you in the car So I've just put up to 98.3 cook cool FM and it's time for my interview But I'm gonna see if I can bring news in with me My battery is flashing at me low, which is weird because I just put it off the charger But we'll see what we can capture anyway. Let's go now. I'm actually like 20 minutes early So I'm gonna sit here and play some Pokemon Go because we're right on the river and there's a gym right there that I'm gonna raid Uh, 
you're just who you are, what you're doing. Cool there, Feed Boy Plague. Today's best music across the far north. Now, you might have seen a bit of chatter on Facebook recently about a new recreational centre being set up in Innisfail. Ryan Melita is the director of the Ram Recreational Centre. Ryan, good morning. Good morning. So my battery went flat midway through the interview, but that was really cool. I ended up sitting down for about another hour with one of the marketing guys and just speaking some deals on marketing and advertising for the recreational centre. But that was really cool. It was a bit nerve-wracking, but more nerve-wracking than I thought. But neither to say, if you guys tune in to 98.3 Cook Cool FM today, between 7 and 8 and 8 and 9, you're going to hear my interview on the radio. So this video drops at 7, so once you've done watching this, turn the radio on. Even now, turn the radio on. You might hear me talking about the recreational center. Um, but yeah, that's probably all I have to say about today's video. Not much else has really happened. I've got some painting to do when I get home on the Multiverse Arcades but I am probably also going to have a nap before work tonight because I'm still feeling quite ill. Again, sorry for the lack of content lately, but just like that, guys, that'll wrap up the video there. I really do appreciate every single one of you. So please subscribe if you haven't. Drop a like on the video. Drop a comment. Helps the algorithm. But just like that, let's go.